So in the latest episode, Goku got a new source of power. Everything came out, including a name for this form. It is being called Ultra Instinct, and Goku in this form is the most powerful version of himself that we have ever seen. And the reason for the name Ultra Instinct is because unlike the majority of Goku's forms, this one focuses more on the technique rather than power. There is still a ton of power to this form though. Ultra Instinct of Goku can do things that not even most gods can. When the spirit bomb exploded on Goku, there were either two things that were going to happen. He was either going to die, or he was going to absorb it. And for Goku, the level that he was on, the chances of him dying were so much higher than him just taking the power of the spirit bomb. But that's what he did. It sounds simple to just absorb a bit of energy, but it isn't. The spirit bomb is Genki. It isn't just the same as raw energy. It came from everyone in Universe 7. When he emerged, this blue aura surrounds him. He looks like he's in his base, but then you take a look at his eyes. You zoom him in, and they're a different color, meaning that Goku has changed. This is a new form, and not just a technique. And in this form, he had the ability to fight on par with Jiren for a few minutes, which is probably more than anyone has done ever. This is because he has instinctive power, and the reason this is so important and such an advantage is because compare it to something like breathing. We are all born to naturally breathe instinctively without even having to think about it. So imagine having to take the time to think about it every time you took a breath. That is essentially how Goku was fighting, because even for a Saiyan, they don't fight instinctively, they still have to think about how they move. You notice that in this state, Goku is moving a lot more freely, and it's actually kind of angelic. It reminds me a lot of how Whis moves, just with Goku's style. Now, this form is not limited to only Saiyans. No way is this just another Super Saiyan upgrade. This is a state that almost anyone can achieve. That's why throughout the episode, every time it showed Frieza, he was surprisingly calm, and it felt ominous because it was like Frieza was taking notes on how he could achieve this power, because his end goal was to surpass the gods, and with being ultra instinctive, that goes a long way into surpassing the majority of the gods of destruction already, because we know they were shocked at both Goku and Jiren, so a majority of those gods don't even know how to do it themselves. You could say that Goku unlocked his Ultra Instinct because he was training with Whis. He already had an idea of the concept, but he didn't have the power. The Spirit Bomb was that power that he needed. So when it comes down to the end, you can see Goku's eyes flashing from silver to black, and it's going back and forth because where we are right now, Goku has lost this form, but it will never be gone from him entirely. This is very similar to when Goku first had the power of the Super Saiyan God, except now, instead of 6 months, he only has 25 minutes to learn how to master it and take down Jiren. This is without a doubt Goku's strongest form, but I can still see ways for him to get stronger after this, which is scary because Goku was at Jiren's level on his first time experiencing the form. So that's Goku's new form summed up as best I could. It is a lot more complex than what we normally used to getting in this series, and it's nice to finally see a form that can be universally used by anyone. I expect Vegeta to get this form in around 22 more episodes, so let me know what you think of Ultra Instinctive Goku. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next Dragon Ball video.